Ankole region in western Uganda is renowned for cattle keeping and pastoralism characterized by large herds of cattle that signify wealth in the region. However, times have changed and cattle keeping has become risky due to changing weather patterns. The people are shifting to crop farming as the new major economic activity. But again, the transition to farming has not been easy and residents also appear unprepared to store their food as seen from the lack of granaries. This lady in Karugaju village in Isinjiro district is not only planting a new crop, but also clearing her field ahead of the next season. A Himbisiwe could only do this after slight drizzles and more traces of rainfall were received here in the past few days, which softened the soil. She previously grew maize in this garden, but after the rains began falling again, she was forced to remove the maize and plant beans immediately so that she doesn't miss out during what is referred to here as the germinating season. Further ahead, these women are uprooting some groundnuts as they also clear their fields for planting. So why are they uprooting and planting immediately? It's the time to plant. Rain means a new season and we weed out all that's in the fields. The rain came after a long drought. As a result, a large percentage of the crops planted earlier produced poor yields. Many members of the community here in Isinjiro district have expensive gardens of cash crops like beans, maize and few food crops. However, the culture of storing food for future use is alien here. Granaries are a rare sight in the community and the few available ones are slowly being phased out. Not so many households in this community have food storage facilities like this one. Now the few that have them have millet only stored in them. And the millet that is stored is not enough. Actually the most surprising thing is that they store it for sale, leaving them with no food to eat during the dry season. In September we grow sorghum for eating and even then when we get it, we sell it. The remainder I eat. It's not common to find banana plantations like this one owned by Yoramu Tinako, which covers acres of land and is well maintained. He takes good care of the plantation and prunes it daily. Tinako earns over 5 million shillings a month from the plantation. He compares this handsome earning to what he says is the tedious but non-profitable cattle keeping which he and many of his peers have long abandoned. Because of these bananas, we eat well, feed our relatives and then sell as well as get money that educates our children. But the shift from cattle keeping to agriculture has not been easy. This area that lies in a dry corridor in the neighboring Ntungamo district is often hit by long seasons of drought. The bananas reduce in size, then the quality is less. You can harvest about 30 from the entire plantation. You even fail to raise money to pay the workers. All hope is not lost, however, for the farmers that are located mainly in Rohama constituency that is headed by the First Lady. We had, uh, she had to bring in uh, uh, construction, construction of dams uh, within, the, within her constituency where even Kitwe is located. The residents could make do with some lessons in modern methods of farming that will enable them adjust to the ever-changing weather patterns due to the effects of climate change.
Now it's known that culture transformation takes generations and there are many challenges. But for Ankole, this transformation has even been made harder by climate change. Traditional societies like this community are never keen on adopting new trends and if they do, it's with a lot of hesitation. However, not all hope is lost since many members of the Ankole community, especially in Isinjiro and Ntungamo districts, are not about to give up, considering the huge economic benefits they have seen and transformed their lifestyles. I am Craig Kadoda for NTV Connect. Thank you.